<laughs> Holy moly, I love to see that. 18 hours ago, roll tier list for phase one of Cataclysm Classic. I am surprised to see tier list that fast, but I guess this is the tier list that we are seeing. And me, as a professional WoW player, technically I'm a professional WoW player because I'm streaming and sometimes I'm making money, so let's uh, cover that list. Farmage S tier. This is one of my characters. Demonology Warlock S tier. I'm playing Affliction, not Demonology. Survival Hunter Unholy Dead Knight, which is another, which is my main, by the way. And Arms Warrior in tier list. Holy moly. After that, on the A tier, Shadow Priest, Affliction Warlock, Frost Dead Knight, Assassination Rogue, Elemental Shaman, Retribution Paladin, Arcane Mage. I'm thinking about my second spec of the Mage to be Arcane, by the way. And my Warlock is Affliction, so all my characters are in S and A tier. By the way, I have Assassination Rogue, but he is on Horde, so it doesn't matter. After that, B tier, Balanced Druid. I thought that Balanced Druid is tougher. Enhancement Shaman, Combat Rogue, Feral Combat Druid, Marksmanship Hunter. I guess this is okay. The only thing that I don't understand about this list is how the flip they got this list when Cataclysm got released like 17 hours ago and this list got posted even before Cataclysm phase one 23 hours ago. I don't know how these guys are, were prepared with all of that. C tier, Destruction Warlock, Beast Mastery Hunter, Sabuti Rogue and Fury Warrior. Is this for PvE? Let's read a little bit because on the list it's Frost Mage so I guess. With the release of Cataclysm Classic now imminent We've put together the, li the list of all three roles in the first phase of the expansion, focusing on their performance throughout tier 11. We will also provide simple, easy to follow up breakdowns to the strengths and weaknesses of each specialization, along with the majority utility buffs and debuffs they will bring to the raids. For those of you who don't know, Cataclysm Classic is launching with almost all of the changes, cla changes class sold throughout the expansion of. To including patch 4.3, which means we'll have completely different versions of the specialization like Restoration of Shun Shaman and Holy Paladin that were originally raiding in tier 11. Okay, so it's a raiding tier list. Um, I'm happy that all my characters are in SNA. It's really sad that Frost Mage is uh, in the D tier, but uh, you know, Frost Mage was always kind of a more PvP. Civil Hero is more PvP. Yeah, that's uh, that's it for the, the for the roll tier list. I, I I just saw it and I was surprised. And if I had the opportunity, I would do a tier list myself. But um, maybe I should research how to do a tier list, and uh, maybe I'll do myself. Comment down uh, below if uh, you want a tier list of something. I don't know. Now back to wow. <laughs>